Something strange happened to me a few months ago. In my inbox, I got an email from a mystery person that said, James, we've got a business that's needing your help. It's in the party industry. Would you be interested in knowing more? I replied back saying, Hi, I don't know who you are, but yes. And then I got sent a NDA, that's a non-disclosure agreement. And then all the information came. Within about 15 minutes, I was then speaking to Carol Middleton. And the Middleton family owned a very successful business a few years ago called Party Pieces. And that's the warehouse in which I'm standing right now, surrounded by all this stock. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you how I ended up buying Party Pieces. The Middleton's family party company, they started it in 1987 from their kitchen table. Well, it's now going to be run by an Essex boy called James Sinclair. Just to give you a little bit more context on how this came to pass. I was at this awards do six years ago. I can't even remember being there. I won some entrepreneurship award thing that my bank organized. And I was sitting next to this guy that remembered I was in the party industry. He knew the Middleton family had this business that he was struggling. And I was then speaking to Carol Middleton within 15 minutes of having this email come through. I set a chain of motion to take over the business. Now it was, it was struggling, but let me be absolutely clear, when Carol run it, when Carol was running the business, it was very profitable, very successful, and I like buying legacy brands. This thing is 35 years old, it's very well known, it's had loads of press coverage around it, and it's really good stuff and done. Like All this range behind us is Party Pieces' own range and brand, no one else can sell it, and all of that stuff was good. What happened was, Carol, uh, 65 years old, sold half the business to a group of investors and they put in a management team and Carol was out of the business, retired. And they came in and um, started running it, put really expensive people in, spent too much on marketing, bought the wrong stuff. And November last year, Carol was asked to come back in and help them. Really, the damage was done. And unfortunately, the business had to go into administration. I then bought the business back out of administration. And now I've got a very stressful situation on my hand where I've got to move hundreds of thousands of pounds worth of stock, staff and infrastructure over to Essex and we're based in Reading right now. I'm actually in our showroom. I've got a loss making business that's got a legacy brand owned by a famous family and I need to be conscious of that and protect that. And I've got to put some entrepreneurial vigor back into the business because what had happened, Carol, very entrepreneurial, running this business as a big SME. Then these investors came in when she retired and put all these expensive people in and running it like a three, 400 million corporate, which it isn't. This needs to be run by an entrepreneur. And that's what we're gonna do. Now there's some questions you're probably shouting at the screen or thinking in your head. Why has James bought another business that sells loads of balloons and party stuff? Well, those who have been watching me regularly for the last few years know that actually that's how I started. I was a kids entertainer and we actually put on thousands of children's birthday parties a month in our big chain of indoor play centers and our farm parks and attractions. We also wholesale out party products, teddy bears, children's arts and crafts to lots of big attractions. The big advantage of this business in Party Pieces is most of its business is direct to consumer. That means cash comes in straight away. Now, when you're running a wholesale business, direct to uh, business to business, you're getting your money in months and months at a time. So this is great for instant cash flow, but also we can sell all of these products and services to our own customers, making Party Pieces branded party bags and balloons in our play centers and this is a business that sells nationwide literally people can buy these balloon boxes personalize them personalize banners and we ship all over the country so it's another big string to our bow that we're not already doing now if i wanted to start and do that from myself from scratch i'd have to employ a team do years of r d all of that stuff's out of the way so that's what we're gonna do, gang. Let's talk about the challenges of buying a distressed business, business from liquidation, administration, or the business owner is no longer in control of the business. You've got warehouses like this in this business with literally rows and rows and pallets and pallets of stock that we all need to move. Why? Because the landlord wants this building back and he wants it back PDQ. That stands for pretty damn quick. So I've literally got, I reckon, about seven Arctics worth of 
cracking and stock that needs to be moved and I've got to do it in days. Now I'm trying to find another warehouse in Essex right now because my current one that I've got at the moment is full up because I've got loads of stock coming in and I'm literally pulling out my hair because I cannot find a space. I think I'm close on finding one but they're still just taking so long to make decisions but this is just warehouse one. Look come through here warehouse two um, which is the same size as about um, eight rows of stock here. This is warehouse three with even more stock. So within weeks, I've got to move this, get it all over to Essex. I'm moving some of the team, by the way, that make all the personalized stuff on the ribbons. We're rehousing them and rehoming them in Essex. You believe we're doing this? We only bought this thing last week. The project work, the mind space that goes into this is huge. Only that, I'm getting married next week as well. I'm not even joking about that. So wedding, moving businesses, and I bought a hotel all in the same week. All of this is not made up, by the way. So uh, I'm barely sleeping. No, I am sleeping, but you know, just it's a lot of work, guys. Yeah, the great news about buying this business is this product that's unique to us, designed by us. You know, for, for that to be made and R&D'd and worked out, just is it like a year's worth of work. And that's what we bought into here. Because for us to do this, we have a graphic design team, we have a marketing team. It would take us three, four, five years of constant hard graft, finding the factories to make it all, all the R&D. That's all been sped up for us. So, I mean, look at even like these plates. Look, you know, this is all nicely designed. The artwork's beautiful, the barcoding, the testing. We've got customers in America, we've got a big chain of supermarkets that want to buy from us and we're working on all that. So there's some really good stuff here. This business just needs a cuddle and that's what we're going to do. Our whole team are so super excited about it. When we bought the business, DPD, uh, Royal Mail, who we've got accounts with and spend tens of thousands of pounds a year with, they just turned off all our accounts. So we had to get a lorry from Essex to pick up all the orders, deliver it back to Essex to go from our DPD account. We spoke to our account manager, they wouldn't help us because the business went into administration you know all of these challenges setting up new accounts otherwise we would have had to refund a load of customers that had placed orders and orders are still coming in and <sighs> really really challenging gang uh, and we're doing it on quite a big scale but it's exciting. I'm in the race for space. This is my warehouse here for Teddy Tastic. And as you can see, it's pretty full up. I do own a farm park called Marsh Farm. And I've got a big barn there that we use to store stuff. And I had a little quick look in there with Jenki, who's my commercial director, to see if we could make any space there because I can't, I've got containers coming in from the Far East with Teddy Tastic stock. And uh, I just need some space and I need to do it quickly because the landlord literally wants us out. He hates us because the business went into administration. I got a lot of press from buying this business. We was literally in the Daily Mail, the Daily Express, the Times, the Guardian, every single newspaper reported on this because of the royal family connection to the business. I was even on GB News and um, they questioned me on it. I'll just put a little clip of that in right now. If something, a company with the reputation of the Middletons, mm. because of who they are, or their offspring, <laughs> their offspring at least, yep. if they couldn't get it to work or it's having problems, well, it, well, why, why can you turn it around? Well, it did work. You know, it's just, um, it, it, it needs, some, some businesses can be corporate run, um, run by, say, venture capitalists, private equity, and some businesses need to be run more entrepreneurially. And um, I think that's what part of pieces need. It needs a big dose of entrepreneurship, and we'll take it back to the next level. Funny thing is, I was asked one of those questions there, James, how can you make this business work well when Carol couldn't? Well, I've got lots more infrastructure around me. I've got lots more marketing team around me, and we're going to do a lot more in-house so we can save a lot of money. We're used to buying direct and manufacturing direct, and that just increases our GPs. And we've also got 2 million customers that come to our businesses each and every single year that we can open up in terms of marketing. And also, we're not saddling ourselves with loads of debt. We're going to do it in a much more frugal way possible. So being frugal on costs so we can be generous on investment is one of our cultural rules here in our organisation. I know what you want to know though, is how much do we pay for the business? Well, this is all on public record. We paid £180,000 for the business. That got us the stock, the brand, the IP, uh, the legacy, the history, the website. And then we're going to use our cash to get everything sorted back out and turn it in back to another amazing commercially profitable enterprise that employs people, that drives the UK economy and is a brand to be really proud of. That's what we're going to do with Party Pieces. And I'm going to keep you updated here on the YouTube with all the stuff that we're getting up to. And you're going to find out more 
as we make more videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. If you've loved this video and you want to grow your business further, why not come along to one of my seminars? I love running my seminars and teaching people all the strategies and tactics that I use in my business to grow your business. You can buy your tickets for a few hundred quid on my website at jamessinclair.net. See you there.